before I freak out, I'm going to clean out this hole. There is probably going to be more. If they say it's impossible, remember, it's impossible for them, not you. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today we will be looking for gold under the water in the place that I absolutely love, which is just downstream from here. It is also where I found that famous foot nugget and where that YouTuber D Almighty and myself dove down and found some nice chunky pieces of gold. I brought my scuba gear again along with some basic mining tools a beautiful Australian, <laughs> and check this out, a brand new wetsuit. That's right, a wetsuit that does not have holes everywhere. And yes, I've even included the boots and gloves, which again, don't have tears or rips. Before we begin, just a quick shout out to Wilson's Diving in Langford, BC for providing us with our new dive gear. And of course, Chris from Vogus Prospecting, who's visiting us from Australia, but won't go in the water because it's quote, cold as <laughs> So without further ado, I'm excited. Let's get underwater and find some gold. So the first spot I wanted to check was about 8 feet deep and up on a ledge. Now I know this doesn't look like a lot of fun, but the point is to get to the bottom of these cracks to uncover any gold that might be hiding underneath. Nothing appears to be in this one. Moving on. Now this spot is a little bit deeper than our last one, and it is why it is so silty. There we have it, our first piece of the day. And if you need to move boulders, they're much lighter underwater. I guess I don't need to tell you when I find gold. I mean, I end up just screaming anyways. I did not find anything else in this area, so I went upstream and I'm sure glad I did.
gloves for these. These are, I can't pick them up.
<laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> Before I freak out, I'm gonna clean out this hole. There is probably gonna be more. taking off my scuba gear. It's too heavy. <laughs> so I'm just working a crack from there all the way through here. I just moved a boulder so I'm gonna follow that crack along and hopefully find even more. So after spending more time here, I quickly learned that I need to come back on another day if I was going to remove all this overburden. I can't get any deeper than that. Oh man, oh man. Time to get out. Well that ending was pretty sweet. <laughs> Down, downstream, I was scuba diving. We went down to the deep spots, didn't find a thing. But then I lost my snuffer bottle in the process, so I had to go looking for it. I was cold, I was hungry. I left the scuba gear on and came upstream, found a little bit of gold, but then I went even further upstream and then bam, we hit that pocket. Let's go have a look. So it's just about to dump the snuffer in here, but I actually wanna wait till we get home. But just a quick sneak peek. You, you can see some gold in there. <laughs> okay, as warm as I like to say I am, I'm actually freezing. Um, I can't feel my feet, my mouth is numb, and I don't know where Chris is. I haven't seen him, I gotta go look for him. But let's just hurry up, get back to the house, weigh all the candy, and see how we did. <laughs> okay, back at the house now. I don't, know what to, I don't know what to say. What started out to be a nothing day turned out to be a something day. And <laughs> check it out. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> this is really, really good. There are some nice nuggets in here. Most of this gold was found in a crack only a few feet long and in like two minutes. But you wanna know what the best part of this is? I'm not even done working that crack. It continues. <laughs> it appears to be going down to a pinch point where all these cracks meet into one spot. And I cannot wait to go down there. But first, let's weigh this. So we are gonna start with our smaller pieces first and then slowly and painfully make our way to the bigger bits. So. Piece number one weighs five ounces. Uh, 0.61 grams. That's really good. This one is probably going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.44, close enough. That is cool. Next one. 0.47 grams. So, so far we're hitting a gram and a half. Now, this piece is our first specimen, and I'm really happy with that. I can probably make a necklace with that. Let's see if we can hit a gram. 1.77 grams. That is a really good piece. Now this one, maybe a gram. Let's find out. Beat a gram, come on. 
<laughs> 1.53 grams. That is sweet. I'm getting happier and happier. This, hopefully, if it beats 2 grams, we're on fire. 2.74 grams. We're now on fire. We need a fire extinguisher. Let's check out this piece. I'm going to say 3 grams. Hopefully more. 4.08. That's my third biggest nugget. Now, I'm going to include all these pieces right meow. And if it beats 8 grams, we've officially beaten the record. Wow, 11.69 grams. Okay, now let's include the other little bits. Come on, baby. Let's see if we can hit 12 grams. Yeah! 12.84 grams. Yes, we did it. New record. That is awesome. So just under 13 grams of gold, that is my new gold record for just a day. My last record was like 8 grams, my biggest nugget was 7.5, but 13 grams of gold in a spot that was maybe 4 feet long in under like 2 minutes, that is incredible. And like I said before, that crevice is not even done yet, so I cannot wait to go back and get it like now. <laughs> so like I always say, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what's coming up, I guarantee it, and what I've previously posted in the past. If you want to see anything else extra, like behind the scenes stuff, stuff you won't see on YouTube, or even perhaps more photos of this gold, feel free to follow me on my social media as I post a lot more on there. Anyways, thank you for watching, thank you so much for your support, and until the next one, <laughs> ah, we'll see you later. A beautiful Australian.